Greetings Scorpios. Hey, this is your August reading with me, so sit back and enjoy. Listen to the messages that come from the celestial realm, from your higher self and collective conscious energies. August sees us well over the halfway point for 2020 and with that a slight change in energies with the astrological lineup you could say that's moving around us. We've had our big eclipses although we do have another one towards the end of the year. We've had some big alignments already occur throughout the year but we're not out of the woods yet. There is still plenty going on. So let's see what's in store for you guys. We will use this deck first. This is the John Holland Psychic Tarot deck. And this is for Scorpio for August 2020. I do find that these messages may uh, go on well beyond just a certain timeline. Wow. <laughs> That's quite nice, two of them out together. The Harmony card, which is the Lovers and a Triumphant Success, the Ace of Swords. This came out for someone else as well. The two cards were in the same reading. And I think because they've come together, for some of you, this means a success after perhaps a long duration of waiting. And it could be tied in with a romantic uh, relationship. Or a business relationship. The Harmony card is the lovers and the lovers often represents choices and can often represent three people or secret affairs or love affairs going on. This may mean that something you've been waiting to come to fruition or come to completion of a cycle or end something or begin something new is about to happen in August. It could be that you have you had met someone new but you were with another person and the relationship had to be uh, finished with this other person first. It could be that you met someone new and they were already in a committed relationship and they are now moving out of that relationship. So things like separation or divorce could be taking place, especially when this card is present as well. If it's not a romantic relationship we're talking about, it can very well be a business partnership that is formed. So some of you might have been negotiating with a business or a strategy to get it up and running, or you have applied for uh, some sort of partnership or backing or sponsorship or uh, teaming up with someone else. It could even be at an ideas base, like you might be providing the ideas or the knowledge behind it and they might be putting in the finances or the practical application. It could be a teaming up of things like that. But both of these bode quite well in terms of success at your perspective and your dynamic. Some of you, this may be a very deep bond that is being formed at the moment. And it could be because either one of you has left a previous relationship. Uh, it could be that things have been sorted out like divorce papers handed out or separation papers or a property settlement that has uh, been finalized or the sale of a business or the severing of some sort of ties or legal documents coming in like it could even be an inheritance or will or monies and they're being divvied out that allow the progression or the further movement of this harmony that could be coming in in your life. For some of you this could be a deep bond of soulmate love. Also this is karmic. Now Scorpio you are the most karmic of all the signs so a lot of relationships that you have in your life are really really tied into karmic past life energies. So you might be coming across someone in your life path at the moment who is a very deep karmic bond and you are preparing to move through that whole synergy or working on the karma or freeing it up or moving on from it as well. So for some of you this might be a moving on from a karmic relationship that has been around and freeing up your heart or healing from any heart pain or trauma that you may have been through. For others this could be the instigation of and the ignition of a twin flame energy. Sometimes our twin flame energies are not on the planet, they are in the celestial realm but they can be um, pushed through portals and aligned in the physical so that you yourself at your spiritual level can feel the euphoria and the bliss that the twin flame energy unites. Wow what a lot to be said from those two cards alone. 
and as I say they have actually come out a little bit more than for just one in this month of August. Remember too we are moving into the Lionsgate 88 energy portal so I think when you get portals like that that align with stargates and sun activity quite a lot can happen and for some of you it may even involve uh, like a Leo energy personality. Mm, goodness what happened there? I'm not going to take all of those but we'll put them back in and carry on shuffling. This is for Scorpio for August 2020. What else would you like them to focus on? No, meditate or understand. Clearly those cards that came out there were really fast and they came out quickly. This is, now this is quite odd and I can't remember who it was, but another one of them got this as well, the fulfillment of wishes. Um, so it's like this has been, either you've been wanting this in the background to happen, it's coming for you, so don't give up either. The nines are all about making sure that you continue the journey and sometimes you get to a point where you may have felt frustrated or you think this thing that you're working on or that you've been dreaming of couldn't possibly happen. Well the message with that card is don't give up, keep going. For some of you this is an attainment or a jump up of some sort. He holds a scroll in his hand, or she does, actually I think it's a lady, um, and she has a scholarly cap on. So this could be referencing independence, it could be referencing the fact that you have achieved within some intellectual capacity so a degree or a scholarship or a finalizing in a career field it can also reference wealth if you see the little treasure chest there but remember not all treasure is just financial because it, it's a fulfillment of all form of wishes and the beginning of that flourishment to come into your life so really really nice for you guys Scorpio uh, I think there's a lot of promise for a lot of people I, I honestly feel we're on the cusp of some sort of galactic changes that are taking place Balance number 11, that is the Justice card. This is a very karmic card. Wow, and when this comes in, this also can be referring to things like divorces, um, separations, or the signing up of businesses or legal documents as well. If you're attending any court cases or there's something you've been waiting on, it usually bodes quite well. Some of you literally are becoming free of a burden of something and it could have been having to go through a court case it could involve family implications children even uh, parents extended family members and for others of you this is a business perspective reality but these three cards now all together are really beginning to uh, give a very strong energy field and tying in a big story. And we've now got the 111 scenario, so that's the angelic vibration energy. And I think Metatron is in there. In fact, I think this could be Metatron here. It's not Michael. It's got too much of a white light energy coming through, which is a very Metatron type energy. Uh, so if you are in any you know, heaviness or lack or not feeling this prosperity coming through, then focus on the energy of Metatron as a white light helper to help bring resolution or solutions to anything that needed solving. But these two in particular just really are pushing forward about some sort of success in a legal matter and it can be the uh, finalization or the absolution of relationships or businesses, the sale of something, the purchase of something, going to court. If any of you have had issues that you're you know going to court for, like legal ramifications, it generally bodes quite well too. This card can also represent Libra energy, so this may involve Libra and people around you, and it is the card of karma, so karmic relationships, and we've talked about this here. So I feel a lot of you will be walking into some sort of karmic energy and being uh, either freed up from past karma, which is the breaking up of all of this if you like, or bringing in new karmic stuff. It doesn't have to be 
bad karma, but it can be from past lives. So it is definitely people that you have spent time with and you will feel a very kindred awakening with them. Most likely they will awaken something that will bring you to a new level of awareness, understanding, knowledge and growth. And of course this isn't just <laughs> for this month, which is what I said at the beginning as well. This is a much longer field duration event, probably for the rest of your lives for a lot of you. Power. <laughs> These cards keep repeating. It's strange. Some of you may have the moon or rising sign of the previous readings. So it will pay you to check your moon and rising signs as well. Power coming back. Number eight is the never ending cycle of life. It's the return again number and it's the karmic number. Boo yeah, you guys are working through masses of karmic energy, probably more than anyone else. This is a return of personal power, a feeling as if you're being freed from the clutches of something. It's like you can breathe again. Some heaviness is going in August. You are regaining a strength. Now, for some of you, this could be a personal strength and it could be to do with physical health. Now, if it's a physical health thing, for some of you, this has been a family related DNA uh, issue, issue, so familial. And that, of course, is also karmic and it goes back past lifetimes. So some of you might find that you have found a modality for treating it or that the symptoms are lessening themselves and they're not as debilitating as they have been. For others of you, this could be more of a spiritual reclaim of power or an emotional or mental uh, regaining of power. So if you've been through emotional trauma or mental you know, destabilization, whether it's been uh, depression or bipolar or um, anxiety, these could be being relieved a little bit for you as well. So I do, I feel like there's been, a, there's a lightness coming in and it's, it's time, it's just a timing event that's happening. If you have been in a situation where you felt powerless because of other people putting their stronghold over you that is also de-accelerating but that's not quite the right word but it's also being lessened at this point in time and that lessened there's two references there so it's it's abating but but the, in part it's because a lesson has been learned and the lesson may have been learned from your end but also from the other people's end as well so boy it's a really talky um reading the, the messages that are coming in they're just like really fast and powerful each card has got a very specific succinct bunch of words that they want to uh, portray for you two fives these are two of the most the more arduous two of the fives and I think when we see the conflict and defeat and obstacles and challenges I feel that this one here is often about walking away from people who have been creating tension or obstacles in your life and you are saying no I've had enough I'm over it and I'm out of here and that's what I thought earlier there's this feeling of achievement or triumphant success at the cost of something. I think you definitely say goodbye to some people in your life who have been tenuous, who are causing grief, who aren't uh, being supportive of you, who don't understand you, who have been blocking you, who have caused negative energies, uh, especially obstacles that have created challenges. And this can be emotional most definitely, but it can also be at work. So for some of you may have had this in the workplaces where you've found that someone has blocked you from perhaps moving up the ladder, getting a promotion, getting a pay rise, making friends at work. It's like you've had this person in the background or people or a bunch of them causing chaos and saying things about you, de destabilizing your power. But the lesson has been and gone and your power is coming back and you are regaining the power. It may even have something to do with a Leo energy or a fire sign type person. 
this card when it comes out means you can often want to really speak your piece and you might do so now when Scorpios get mad watch out and you all know that sometimes you can say some pretty heated things and some pretty hurtful things this card does say be careful of how you say it you can still voice your opinion you can still tell people to back off and treat you with respect but just watch how you say it I do feel some people you're going to separate from some people for good and it's the end of them and actually I don't think you care less there's some people around who just kept they're not worth having uh, number five the obstacles and challenges this can be at the career level as I said and it could be they're temporary the fives are a temporary situation so it does move on um, put your best foot forward is the message coming through here and keep going with ideas or systems or protocols that you wanted to present to either managers or bosses or employees keep going don't give up so and I think that's what the nine is you know I said before don't give up mm, goodness there's the heartache and loss that can represent the three people and it can often represent an affair going on so a triangle of people you guys may have been involved in some sort of you know hidden agenda or a secret love affair you may have been the third party or you may have been uh, you know the peak of the triangle that formed the third party disruption that's the tower it's upside down it's kind of like something averted and I just do think there might have been as I said there have been people around you that you don't need anymore and they have been causing disruption and I think you've regained the power or you're going to to put any of their negativity aside and put it into the background we have another eight how many eights did we have two eights two fives two Oh, two eights two fives uh, positive movement forward and this can be in the career can be finances looking better so money coming in um, it's about knowing that the work that you can do whether it's your passionate work or your creative work or within your job that you are good at you have crafted your skills over time and that that pays dividends and reaps rewards and there for the last card another major arcana and that says triumph again so see how many positive cards have come through as a really powerful message this is the triumph over dark and light over weakness and strength and we've got the power in and I, these two are very very powerful especially when uh, applied next to each other like that if you're going through any worrying or traumatic times take a photo of these two and put them on your fridge or under your pillow or on your phone somewhere where you can really pull on the powerhouse energy of these two cards this one can mean moving shifting homes funny that <laughs> leaving something behind like um, where you lived a community a state a country and moving into new territory it can be with quite quick pace it can also involve driving so going on a driving holiday a road trip so that tends to be not flying overseas but driving around for like a holiday it can mean buying a new car or traveling for business as well but the deeper resonance of this card is a spiritual strength and triumph that comes in especially after trying times also there to me you guys might have spirit guide animals around they might be like a big cat or a horse that might be relevant for you you might be finding new spirit guides or you might find some sort of spiritual connection with either of these type of animals as well if you spend time with them well I'm really enjoying your reading because it is swift it's powerful it's uh, determined look at these cards shot out king of swords and five of pentacles air sign person also documents legal stuff um, applications contracts this one 
a little bit, an, another five, it's the five of pentacles. What did we have over here? So you have three fives are in. So temporary, temporary conflict and defeat is my feeling with the three fives. So it is something that might come up bolt in, you know, like quite strong energy in August, but I think it's transient and I think you have the willpower, power to get over it and deal with it. It may feel like you feel as though you've been left out of a community or a bunch of people. Your finances might even be a bit glitchy over this time period, but it's not for long. There's too much other positivity in here that is um, seeking to come to the top, you know, like boiling water in a jug. It starts off as solid water and then the boiled water as it gets really, really hot and goes to the top is steam. And that's the thing that is the most reactive and the most um, movement is created there. The Six of Cups is about the past. Sometimes this can be a past lover coming back on the scene. This might be a person that you're either dealing with as, as the person you're leaving or left and it, you're finalizing all these documents and separation and divorce or partnership and business with, or this could be a person that you are re-meeting with again after leaving a marriage partner or a business partner. can also be um, familial health issues, which we've talked about a little bit with you guys, but understanding them and finding a solution for them. And it can also be going to school reunions and things like that as well. Queen of Cups, that's yourself there. So the Queen is understandably balanced in emotions and she understands the power of love and resolution and listening. She is a good listener and she's a good person. She has the ability to perceive emotions of others. And I'm convinced, here's this Five of Swords back again. So now actually, which is this one, so it's come in twice. So you have four fives, which is a really big message. And as I said, I did feel that they were quite strong messages for you. And it's about leaving someone or something, standing up for your ground, having the tenacity, the strength and the power and the intellect to work through any current obstacles, not panicking about situations that may arise, whether they're with health or finances or partnerships because transient number five energy is in your realm in August but it's not it's not the be end of everything and it's not the end of all that's going on so much other amazing positive stuff within the reading <laughs> uh, calm down guys calm down let me just get these cards shuffled and this is the last deck for your reading. This is for Scorpio. What are the final messages for them for August? It's been a busy month of messages coming through. I do think we are moving into some pretty busy energies coming up on the planet. Wow. Your animal spirit guide is a guardian to you and is helping you with this situation. So we talked about that before. I felt that really strongly. Some of you are getting animal help. Uh, and then these could be animals that are pets to you. They could be cats that are pets or horses that are pets. Um, they might have a really strong, they're there for you and they are there to protect you and help you be with you at this present time in your life. Some of you may come across new pets and these could be like new soulmates for you. And others of you, this is your power animal or a spirit guide animal. So it's very potent, this lovely nature energy that's coming in for you. Vacuum away any fear. Call upon Michael and Raphael to lift fear-based energy from you, your surroundings, the situation, and anyone involved. So now you have got, and I did think of that too at the beginning, I knew you guys were going to get angels coming in, because that was the blessing I started your reading with uh, before I went online. 
So not only have you got Metatron, you have also got Michael and Raphael and your spirit guides. So there's a lot of spirit protection coming in for you. And I think that's part of the regaining or the background power that is in dealing with all of this amazing newness that's coming in for you, this cleansing, this moving out of any negativity. So it's it's a galactic force field. Where did he go? So it's a galactic force field of energy that's there. I want just one more to finish off the reading for Scorpio. They have had a very, you've had a very powerful reading. Ear chakras, notice messages that appear as sounds, music and words from both external sources and within your mind. These messages are real answers to your prayers. So listen out for synchronistic events taking place watch them hear them be open to them because this is how you might receive answers to questions that you are currently asking so there you are Scorpio I feel it's a really powerful reading and I'm convinced that some of you will also have the moon and rising signs that had some very similar messages from the other readings that have turned up so do check them out as well please remember to sub the channel and to hit that notification button I love it when you leave your comments, so I wish you all very well with your full-on month of August and your regaining of strength and power and the ability to make decisions about who you want in your life and who you are leaving behind. Thank you guys, take care, much love, namaste.